having sex with men. Hello? Right? Because verse 11 says, this is what some of you were. Except men having, no, it didn't say that. So it says that every, every, everything on this menu. Huh? Verse 10 again. Verse 11 again, Matthew. No, First Corinthians. <laughs> and this is what some of you were. But then God, it didn't end there because we were washed. We were sanctified. We were justified in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our Lord God. Of the Spirit of our God. Hallelujah. Justified just as if we did not sin. Woo! You are? So it is, a spe is it a special sin? Come on. So why should we show, so why should we avoid them? Why should we erase them from our cell circle, even circle of friends? Why should we avoid them as if they are lepers? Are you, are you avoiding your lying friends? <laughs> oh my goodness, Pastor Lolly, if I will avoid my lying friends, I'll be alone. <laughs> you know why they will do the same with you too? Because sometimes you lie. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Are you avoiding your gossiping friends? No, we're always together, Pastor. <laughs> Hello, huh? <laughs> then why are we avoiding people on the LGBT? <laughs> Just because they have a weakness or just because they have the same sex attraction oh pastor I, I avoid them because I don't want to be like them <laughs> <laughs> who knows maybe I'll become gay too after a few years brother if you are gay you no you are already gay by now yeah. not joking yeah. okay you're less big you then they would say, oh, that's why you become a lesbian, because you mix around with other lesbians. Maybe. That can be a contributor. But also the time. Are we learning anything here? Amen. Am I, am I clear in my message? Amen. Am I stand? Right? Okay, next one. Now, this may be troubling to you, and Believe me, I do not intend to offer any disrespect to our Lord. God knows my heart. But read this verse. But we have one that speaks about Jesus Christ. This speaks about Jesus Christ. How Jesus was tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Now, then, now how do you understand that verse? Especially the underline. Why was How do you understand it? What kind of sin are you thinking about? Pastor, it was. It's up to you to interpret. It's right there, and right here, and right there. You know what? Hello? Pastor, you're too hard. No. That's what the Bible says. He has been tempted in every way. Which gives me in a broad mind that I have that Jesus was also tempted to have the same sex attraction. You tell me, Pastor, no. Well, if he is not, then it's unfair for the gay and the lesbian people. Because they would say, hey, Jesus didn't experience what we experienced. How can he empathize? How can he understand? <laughs> Without any intention to disrespect. No. But this is what this verse is all about. <clears throat> Was he tempted to kill? I believe so. Was he tempted to steal? I believe so. 
Because only then he can he empathize. Only then can he relate with the sinners, with us. If he had been faced with the same temptation like we have. And that includes LGBT people. Diba? Na-tempt din siyang mawala ng pera. Every way eh. Diba? Every way. So every way means every way. Gets? Yes. Okay. We have food today? No. <laughs> Let's close some prayer. <laughs> you know food today? Thank God I ate tocino and cinema <laughs> before coming to the room. Personally prepared by many of yeah. And it's already finished. Okay. Copy you about the mouth of Amen. You know. Okay, next slide. Let's go. Let, let, let's answer this question. Can a homosexual be saved? Yes. Now before I answer that question, can a murderer be saved? Yes. Can a liar be saved? Yes. Can a rapist be saved? Yes. Rapist, yes, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> For God so loved the world, except the homosexual. But those who ever believe, except the homosexual. In him will not perish but have an everlasting life. Let's change our Bible then. Let's exclude them. But Pastor, how do we, if we don't, we, 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 dis we don't have the same thought pattern. We, we don't disagree. Hey, I'm married to a woman that I, <laughs> we, we never agree all the time. We have disagreements too, no. Right? So what's the answer to this question? Yes. 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 Who says yes? Raise up your hand. Yes. No, 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 no. Who says no? Raise up your hand. Jesus, where are you? <laughs> the answer is yes. Of course I can say. Now let me ask you a harder question. What can be a harder question than this? Huh? What can be a harder question than this? Next slide. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Want to talk about gay Christians? Yeah. This is hard. So let's keep it. Let's have it as an assignment. Okay, let me give you an idea how to answer this, okay? If you want to talk about gay Christians, how about talking about, how about gossiping Christians? How about murdering Christians? No, no, no. How about Christians or murderers? No, Pastor, there's no Christians who are murderers. Hey, the Bible says if you look with an eye of anger, you commit murder. How about rapist Christians? Pastor, there are no such thing as rapist Christians. Hey, the Bible says if you look at a adulterer Christian, if you look at a lady with a lust in your eye, you commit rape and adultery. So you want to talk about gay Christians? Let's talk about Christians who are murderers. Let's talk about Christians who are liars. Let's talk about Christians who are thieves. Pastor, there are still Christians. Oh, now get me there. Let's go to the tithes and offering. <laughs> so if you want to start with me talking about gay Christians, why don't we talk about the stealing Christians, the gossiping Christians? You see, there are no such thing as word than Christians. There is only Christians. Why? Next slide. <clears throat> to describe a Christian by his past or by his struggle is wrong. Now let me ask you this question. Who amongst you have struggles in life? 
it's okay, I will not ask what your struggle is. <laughs> Do you want to be marked and called by your struggle as a Christian? Oh, Pastor, my, my weakness is gossiping. Would you be called? Okay, the gossiping Christians on this side. <laughs> okay, Christians on this side. So you don't describe someone, especially you don't describe a Christian by his past. Nor don't describe a Christian by the struggle or the weaknesses that he has. Because a Christian is a Christian. Now, don't we all have struggles? Don't we have all have weaknesses? What is the difference between a Christian struggling with his sexuality with the opposite sex, with a Christian having struggle with his same-sex attraction? Can you ask? Give me an answer to that. Okay. Well, the other is normal. No, but considering the weaknesses, is it different? I'm a Christian. I accept the Lord. I'm straight. I'm straight. Okay? I am. I'm straight. Okay? I'm married. I love the Lord. I committed my life to Him. I, 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 I love Him. I'm growing as a Christian, right? But my past was I was a womanizer. I'm not talking about myself, it's just in, it's in I'm right in front of my wife there across the door of the room. And she's texting, I wonder what she's texting about. I was a womanizer before but I became a Christian. So that's my witness. I love women. Okay? And after I became a Christian, it will not change overnight. Na suddenly, ganyan ka, then, nung tinanggap sir, bukas ganun ka We all have our own struggles. A gay person. Okay? What is a gay person again? Sexually attracted to the same sex. Can they be safe? You say yes. You are? You said yes. Hello? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can they be safe? Yes. So, hope. Hindi na safe. Yeah, I see. Hope mo lang. 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 So, I'm gay. Example again, huh? I'm gay. I'm sexually attracted to the same same sex. I attended a Bible study. I attended a church. The Holy Spirit convicted me. Okay? I accepted Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Am I saved? Yes. I become a Christian. The next Sunday, I continue to read the Bible and pray. Changes, salvation is instant. Transformation is a process. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. That should not be an excuse. Transformation for them. <laughs> <laughs> I know you too well. Eh? <laughs> see? I don't know if I'm you this. I always lose my focus. I'm listening to her and I say, Where am I again? Where am I again? So I accepted the Lord. The following day, I will still struggle when I see some pokey around. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, here he is. and that will be his constant struggle. But does he love God? Yes. Does he believe Jesus as his Lord and Savior? Yes. Now it will all depend which churches this, this gate goes to. Either he will grow up and mature and transform. Or eventually, yeah, or with the kumpapan how he is treated in the church, he can also backslide and say, mm -hmm. "The church are all people." Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 I'm putting our church in a balanced kind of way where 
we we won't shut them. It's just a matter of accepting, listen to me, accepting and approving. We accept but we do not approve. We consider it still a sin. We cannot deny it, we should accept it because they're already here. And just as we are patient, just as we are patient with some other Christians having their own weaknesses, don't you, don't, don't you think we should also be patient with them while they struggle in their weaknesses? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of them are the most sincere. Some of them are the most kind. Some of them are the most good people that you can ever imagine. And again, I'm talking to myself because I'm struggling with this. Because again, I grew up in a generation not as sure. You know how can, how we can love the LGBT people? Study it from the learn from the millennials. <laughs> true, huh? true. Learn from the twenty year old, twenty five year old. They know how to love. They know how to love them. They're with them, and they don't discriminate. But for us. Decent people. <laughs> For us older people who grew up in a generation where I will kill you. I, it's such a shame to have one of a one of that kind in our family. Yeah. You have seen fathers kill their homosexual kid just because it is or disowned. It's not their fault. According to the study, it's still a mystery. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so we don't describe a Christian by his past or by his struggle. That because that is always wrong. Interesting, huh? Mm. Spicy topic. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, I'm closing. Now, so what is our stand with the LGBT people, LGBTQ? Huh? Next slide. Let me give you two verses. Next slide, please. Matthew, next slide. <laughs> let me talk. Maybe Matthew will take about two minutes, so let me expound on this in two minutes, okay? So, Billy Graham said, it is the Holy Spirit's job to convict it is God's judge. It is God's job, job, job to judge. It is my job to love. Hello? Huh? We're not the Holy Spirit. Don't play God. Play our role. And what is our role? Love. I cannot say next slide. We'll have to see my team. Oh, judge is there. Now, Matthew 22, verse 39. Love thy neighbor except the LGBT people as yourself. <laughs> love your neighbor. What does neighbor encompass? What does it include? Everyone? Everyone? Hello? You know, when I started working... In that company, <laughs> yeah, I started as a hospice chaplain. My first and my second company, I were all I all report. I report to a boss who is who's listening. And I was so uncomfortable, you know, because I grew up in that kind of generation. But they're the most talented. The most kind, the most sincere. They have a different lifestyle. I don't approve it. I have to accept it. Especially if he's your boss. <laughs> and then what about John 3 16? For God so loved the world, except the LGBT people. No. For God so loved the world, the entirety of it, including them. Right? In closing, let me say this. Next slide. We need to stop categorizing people by their sins, categorizing Christians by their weaknesses. Agree. Agree. And let us put 
a change. Let us stop saying, hearing, making gay jokes. It had hurt them so much, and I believe that God is also being hurt when we hurt these people. Not justifying their lifestyle, no. We, we love their person. Right? Many times we say, love the sinners, hate their sin. Not a perfect word to, because when we say that, as if we're not a sinner. <laughs> we always say that, right? Hate the sin, love the sinner. That should be our motto. But you see, if that is your motto, as if you're not part of that statement as well. Diba? Can we erase that? I know I said that in my last sermon when I preached on this topic. Can we erase that? Huh? Change that. Si Angelo, the good Angelo. change that. Let's not do that. Okay, because when we say that, as if we're not part of that sin, yeah. where we have also. Yeah. So let's make it a point here to go for the world to love our neighbor, whoever they are, including the LGBT people. Let's love them with the love of Christ. Sabi nga nung kanta natin, break my heart for what is right. break yours. If you have any other question, if you have any other clarification, if I know that hope group discussions will again be spicy this week, and I'm not available to attend any of your hope group this week. Okay, so you just have to watch the tape over and over. But I, but I guess it's just very clear, actually. Yeah. Let's not brand people. Let's not brand Christians. Let's not judge. As what Billy Graham said, it is the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It is God's job to judge. It is our job to love. Right? How many LGBT people have been converted because we opened our Bible and tell them how wrong they are? I bet there are many who have been converted just because we offered love. And that is what they need. Amen. Amen, Puba. Let's bow our heads and let's pray. Father God, again, I pray for the Holy Spirit to help us understand and really digest on this topic that we have spoken upon. And I just pray, Father, that you continue to fill your people with love. We want this church to be a hospital. We don't want this church to be something that avoids or uh, uh, pushes away certain kind of people just because of who they are. This is not even our house. This is your house. This is your family. So Father, I pray let it be our culture here at Hope for the World. 
to love our neighbor whoever they are. Especially with this, with the people belonging to the homosexual community. Lord, first of all, we pray that you forgive us if we have been a part in judging them, in maligning them, in disrespecting them. Because it is never our job to judge. Forgive us, Father. Cleanse us. We are really sorry. I pray, Father, that we may create a loving environment here in this church, a judgment-free environment in this church, a church and a family that anyone can come and accept Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior and count this church as their home, whoever they were whatever they were. And we will allow your transforming power to change all of us, not only them. We thank you for that, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your time. Isn't it interesting so God bless you all and let me call on uh, as we go to our pints and offering yes it's summer yes it's summer because it's very hot as we call summer that's a whole fridge long time Okay, so as we prepare our tithes and offerings, let's also prepare our hearts and pray. Uh, Father God, we thank you for uh, being um, a part of this church uh, where it's full of cheerful givers, Lord God, and I pray that as we give not just our money, but our love, our appreciation, and our faith to you, may it glorify you and your kingdom. We pray, Lord, that you bless the givers and also those, um, the lives that will be touched by, by these blessings, Lord God. And um, I pray that fear and worry will not hinder us from acting in our faith, Lord yeah. God. And um, we know that you are a sole provider um, as long as we continue to obey and abide by uh, our faith in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 